Hey everybody. Um, happy Friday. It's Friday. It is, wow. Here in New York, it is 19 degrees. When my husband went to work this morning, it was 16 degrees. Very bad. I mean, I wrapped him up. He's got his long johns and gloves. And I mean, he looked like a burrito when he left this morning. And I don't blame him. That's, that's brutal. That is brutal. Um, and that's, that's really it on that one. So I just waiting for him to come home tomorrow. <laughs> Nothing much here is happening. I took a nice hot shower. And what I wanted to do was when I take a, um, take a shower, usually I do it at nighttime, but this, I felt to do it during the, during the day because just because of it's so cold out and, and it just, it just goes through your bones, you know, I didn't go out or anything, but it just goes through your bones. It's just, I mean, I'm sitting here, my thermostat is it's 75 in here. It's nice. But like the inside of you is still cold. I still have parts. It's like, ugh, you know, not getting sick or anything. It's just how the weather is. But, um, I belong to, um, I had stated it before a, um, Bath and Body Works, um, social media page on Facebook. There's quite a few of them out, but I, um, I belong to one. And, you know, I, sometimes people do reviews and it's nice. It gives them a chance, you know, talk about sales and everything. It's really cool. Nice little community. And they're funny too at times. You know, everybody posts their, this piece of hair, he was bothering me. They post their collections and, uh, their rooms dedicated. And like I said, these women are, these women are pros, uh, when it comes to these things. Um, me, I just see something I like and I buy it, but I made an attempt with myself to, I'm going to use all my products. I mean, some women, they, they buy things. They don't even use them at all. They have rooms dedicated. They have shrines dedicated, you know, um, and what I'm doing is like each night I feature like a, a scent of the day, a scent of the evening. People do it on that, that, that website also. They do the scent of the, this is my scent of the day. This is what, what is everybody else wearing? Um, this is my candle of the day scent. What is everybody else burning today? You know, things like that. So today my, I did it now, not at nighttime, but today my scent is a, a new scent and Valentine's day is coming up. And I got this on sale for 75% off. So I figured I would actually, I think it's 50%, but that's okay. It's called You're the One. I know I did a review on my scents already. And this was in my, uh, my bundled scent there. It's called You're the One. Perfect, perfect for Valentine's. I know they're pushing this here for Valentine's Day. This is it, even though it was on sale already. So I love the, the design of it. I love the, uh, the cap. The cap is cute. You know, nice presentation. Nice. It, it, it's eye catching. Okay. Um, let me recap for you and let you know what it says. It is, uh, the fragrance notes are white birch. That does say white birch, right? And I have on the good friggin' glasses, white birch, velvety rose, and you smell rose and a drop of strawberry nectar. And you smell that also. It is, uh, this is the first time I'm using it. I have it. It is an overpowering scent. It is a strong scent. I will let you know that. I smell right now. I don't want to be funny. I smell like a funeral parlor. Um, <laughs> I, sm I smell like a fresh bouquet of roses. And it is a, it is, it is a strong scent. So I only got this in the lotion because it was on sale. I wouldn't get this in the body cream. It's for me. I, you know, I have other flowery scents, but for this, I figured myself for Valentine's day. It's wonderful. I, I, I went to grab that and it says here, you're confident, sparkling, beautiful. You're the one. How did you know? <laughs> so. Uh, somebody had also asked on the uh, social media board, I have a 12-year-old, or is it a 13-year-old? It doesn't matter. I have a preteen, and um, she wanted to know, she wanted to really get the scent. She says, and I don't know what it smells like yet. She says, so how does the scent smell? We're all telling her this is not for a child. So there was quite a few people that says it's a very strong scent. It is. It's a very bouquet of roses scent. 
it smells just like that. I can't stop. I mean, it is, it is all over me. I mean, I smell it. It's heavy. So this descent, I know the scent is going to, I have it on now for about an hour and a half and I'm still smelling it. So, I, I mean, if I could smell it on me, because sometimes things lose, you know, you lose a scent, but the person next to you could still smell you. If I'm smelling it, they're going to get overpowered with it. It's going to go right up their nose. So you're the one. Yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know if I discussed this. <clears throat> Excuse me one second. I just have to. Okay. I made another purchase on Amazon. And staying with the Valentine's Day, I do have another mask for Valentine's Day that I will be wearing that I purchased on Etsy. So I'm going to be switching off. I'm sticking to, to uh, the the month of the color red for February. I can't wait to do that. We're only a few days left into it. So we will be getting into that fast. And I was on Amazon and I seen some other friends have it. I says, oh God, you're a trip. This is no more and you should try it. it. It's cute, you know, but you know what? And again, I did not think we would be wearing masks still for the following year for 2021. I didn't think so, but we are. And masks will be with us for a long time. So there is a company on Amazon. I typed in, <laughs> I typed in blingy masks masks with bling jeweled jeweled masks jeweled face no, no let's get this right jeweled face masks and a company called sala came up s-a-i-l-a -A. they have a store on amazon and the masks that came up were so cute so cute and I seen one that I want. I said, you know what? That's that's another one for Valentine's Day. Because, you know, I like to switch my masks off. But I want to keep it in the red color for, for the month of February. So I got these masks. They were $12.99. Uh, $12.99. They have many colors. Many colors. As a matter of fact, I see a green one for St. Patrick's Day, which is um, Irish. That's my holiday. I may be getting one for St. Patrick's Day for the month of March. Um... I saw the red one, it caught my eye. I read reviews on Amazon before I buy any products. I always read reviews and then I make my, my best determination, my best judgment from there. You know, even though they they got crap reviews, I still may like it. It's solely on me. I make the last the last decision for myself. But these got pretty good reviews. So let me see. Let me show you. And I can't wear masks with the new glasses because the new glasses you know, they rest on the mask. So I'm going to show you this one. This one is the one for Valentine's Day. These masks are very heavy. They're very well made. And they have a lot of sparkle. And one of the things, and I don't have them anymore because I got rid of them, was they actually had the filter inside the mask. Now, I knew when I read it, it says comes with a filter. I thought the filter was going to be on the side. The filter was already in the mask. I would have liked the filter on the side and just put the mask, uh, put the filter in the mask myself. But I took the mask and took the filter out. This is a dual layer mask. This material, not just because it's jeweled, it is heavier because it's jeweled, but the material is very heavy. You have adjustable straps and they have the thick rubber. So you may have to really work at it to make the adjustment. This is a very well-made mask. The stitching on it is awesome. You could just put in your own filter. They have the thing for the filter. And it just sparkles. It just blings. I love it. And it's, ve Oops. it's very well made. And it's a nice fit. It really is. I love it. It covers your nose. It has the dip. A lot of masks now. I see people in the street, and sometimes I want to tell them. Yeah, by the way, I think you got that upside down. <laughs> because for some reason, and sometimes my husband does it. I said, no, no, no. First of all, you have it inside out, and it's upside down. So that's a man for you. But I like this mask. It is a heavy. Oh, good, I can see you. It is a heavy mask. I will give you that. But the bling is there. It fits. You can adjust it. You may have a little problem talking. So maybe if you talk a little louder, people will hear you better. But it's not that you're screaming at them. I know I find myself doing that. 
because I don't want to have to repeat myself. I get pissed off with that. So what'd you say? What'd you say? Hear me the first time. <laughs> All right. It's just me, people. I'm just, I'm just, it's one of those days. But the mask fits. I love it. And I'm going to have so much fun for this for the month of February, along with the other masks that I had purchased on Etsy. So let me, let me remove this. And again, it is du dual layer. The material is awesome. I, I washed these already. Now, somebody also said on the review how they wash. Oh, the jewels are starting to come off. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. First of all, you got to wash it easy. Second of all, I put it in a, um, I have a basin in my sink. I put it in the basin with uh, warm soapy water. And I just let the mask sit. And I just do this maybe a little bit from the inside. You don't want to mess around with the jewels on the outside. So far, they're pretty good. None of them came off. And what I do from there is you don't wring it out, you don't wring it, you don't stretch it. I let it hang dry on a hanger, and it just drips. And this was washed yesterday. It came out amazing. Now, I not only seen that one, but I said, you know what? My favorite color is purple. Let me have a little more fun. Let me, let me see if I can get another mask. So I did. I ordered two of them. And this is the same thing. And this is the purple one. I love it. I just love it. I love the jewels. I'm going to, you know, and like I said, I didn't think we'd be wearing masks. If you look at my videos before this pandemic, as the pandemic started, you'll see that I had changed my views on a mask. I, you know, a lot of people had said masks ain't going to work. It's, it's, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to, you will hear me say that. But, you know, as we go along with this and that this um, illness is airborne, you could pass it on from one person to another. You all know this already. We've been through this now. My God, March will be a year that we learned about this pandemic. March will be a year when this thing actually took off for us and we had to make changes in our life. You know, I think about that. That that really is something. A year, a year made a difference. So, but for this, I like these. Now, when you usually wear a mask, like I said, sometimes people wear them upside down. If you notice, when, maybe I should have showed you on the red one, when it's flat here and you see the earpiece go flat, you know that's the bottom part. You'll know that this is the top part when there's a sloop. I mean, it's very easy to tell because this is the part here that goes over your nose, goes over your nose and goes over your cheeks. That's really as far as far as a mask should go. I see people wearing masks. Let me put this upside down. Let me just put it upside down for the hell of it. Because one woman says to me, oh, no, that's where your chin goes. Well, maybe that's where your chin goes. For me, that goes where my nose is. Don't be small with me, lady. <laughs> see? You're putting it upside down. Some people actually have it under here. It doesn't fit that way. If you want to do it that way, fine. But, but, as you can see here, you're still getting air coming up. So, really, it's not really doing anything. So, I take it. And this is, for me, this is where the nose piece goes. It's more comfortable and there is a more of an enclosing. And you can see better. Let's put it that way. See? It covers your nose. Yes, and it covers your chin, too. It covers your chin. I love these masks. I am going to be purchasing more. I want one in black. I may want one in white. And I want the green one. I know I want the green for St. Patrick's Day. So, I will be making more purchases from the Sailor Company. Oh, yeah. This may need to be adjusted a little bit, but that's okay. Definitely. I love these masks. I, I'm going to have fun with these. I really am. And no, it's not a Disney-related thing. So there you go. Anywho, that's really it. This and the red. But uh, like I said, they do, they do come pre, um, prefixed with the... Um, filter so you may just want to take that filter I took the filter out 
I don't have it anymore. To me, it looked kind of dirty. I know these were brand new because I cracked the package open. They were completely sealed when I opened them. So, but um, I wouldn't do that. I would just take that one out and put it in your own filter. But obviously, wash them before you wear them. Absolutely. You always wash every mask before you wear them. But I'm going to have a ball with those. And again, one more time, the company is Sailor. S-A-I-L-A. -A. And I'll put that in the, the uh, comment description below. I like them. Then again, they're a heavy mask. Be careful. Um, anyways, and that's really, I want to say that's really it. This weather with the cold, no matter how much of this you use, no matter how much of this I use, my hands are still dying. But then again, I just got out of a shower. So I just applied a little bit this. I don't usually use this during the day. I use another kind of lotion, but I feel that I feel the need to actually use this right now. I put my hands in a lot of water. So I try not to, but I was doing dishes. I have been training myself to wear the gloves, you know, the uh, dish gloves. I'm, I'm, I'm the worst one for wearing gloves. Even when I color my hair, sometimes I don't use gloves. And, you know, the chemicals are going into my hands, my already cracked hands. So there's no cracks on them, but they're very red. Right now, they're very soft. So at nighttime, I apply this. I know my hands are not going to be in water for about eight to nine hours. So that gets a good thing. But then again, the next morning, what do I do? I go to make a pot of coffee or I go to wash out my cup. I have my hands in water. So that defeats the purpose. And then again, you go into stores hand sanitizer. They want to jap you with their hand sanitizer. They want to make sure your hands are sanitized before you walk into their store. So now I'm using their hand sanitizer. God knows what's in it. The amount of alcohol is killing my hands. I'd rather use my own hand sanitizer, but sometimes they want you to use theirs. You got to abide by those rules. What else is happening? What else is happening? Con Edison, my electric company, is pissing me off. As of tomorrow, tomorrow morning, within, during the day, we will have two one hour power outages because they're replacing something. They're replacing things in the streets. And from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., during that time, there will be a one hour power outage. And again, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., that'll be the second power outage for an hour. My husband's going to love this because he comes home. I mean, there goes, there goes dinner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, um, you know, can't use the stove, can't use the, you know. Two things I always worry about with a power outage is the refrigerator. Because my refrigerator is on the blink anyway. It's My husband and myself, we're discussing um, new refrigerator options. And uh, the second thing would be my boiler you know, my heating system. So I'm, you know, as the power outage hits, I'm going to turn off my thermostat. This way it doesn't know to try and click on and off. With no power, it's not going to click on and off anyway. But as the power comes back on, I don't want it to already be on. And then you hear this, vroom, you know, I don't want that. So I've done it during the summertime. Sometimes we have power outages during the summer, but that's with air conditioning. But I turn off the thermostat so this way it doesn't know to, you know, it has no sense of, okay, you know, you're just shutting me off now. You know, nothing else is wrong. I try to beat that as it as it happens. So, And it worked in the summertime. Please, dear God, I hope it works now in the winter. But for two hours out of my life, they, they, they just, oh, why couldn't you just do this crap during the summer? You have to do it now. And with the weather, the cold, cold weather of 19 degrees, and it's not going to be any better tomorrow when they shut everything off. I'm going to be sitting here for an hour now with no heat. So, you know, I'm not the only one in the building. Everybody in the, you know, the whole, the whole neighborhood's getting shut down. So it's, now's not the time to do this, Con Ed. Now's not the time to do it. But you're going to do it anyway. Maybe you'll cancel. Who knows? Alrighty, people. I think that's really it. I think I'm going to have a little bit of lunch, maybe something to eat. I cleaned some of my drawers out yesterday. I did a little purging, so I'll be getting rid of some stuff. <sighs> Nothing else. I am looking for the shelving system as far as a riser, like I discussed yesterday in my yesterday video. 
I think I've seen something on Amazon. It's like 16, 17 bucks. But it's not really used for a shelf as a shelf. But the way I do things, I do things different. I think outside the box. I think it'll work for me. Oh, excuse me. My stomach's growling. I'm terribly sorry. Um, I think it'll work for me. I like to stay in the wood family because I like my wood. I like, I like everything to um, match somewhat. And this part here is wood. It's actually an over-the-sink shelf. That's me for you. Um, we will see. The next thing I'm looking at is an acrylic. Do I want an acrylic? No. I could probably, I could probably, if I could get to the store and look at at the store Michaels, which I have a Michaels near me, I could probably get something there. But right now, it's easier to look on Amazon and to see what I before I buy anything. I always look at reviews. I always figure out what's best for me, how it's going to work for me. It may not work for you that way. You still use it as an over the sink. Me, I could find five other things that would actually work with that. We will see how this works. Um, I have to think about it some more before I make my final decision. I would just like to rise up some of my knickknacks so that I could give the other things a, a chance to be seen. Although there's nobody in my house, but it bothers me. <laughs> It bothers me. And that's really one of my projects. So I'm still in the process of thinking. But I do have things in mind. My wheels are turning in my head. We will see. Um, two of my friends, Pixie Dust and Peaches and Bells of Cotton, they also have two new videos out. They're doing it, not a simultaneous thing, but they have got some new lounge fly purchases. So I wanted to give them a shout out. I just... I sat and I caught up with some of the videos. I have so many videos to watch. I'm catching up with the videos, ladies. You did, you did good. And I, I, I watched the videos this morning. God bless you. Keep, keep up your collections. I don't know where you're putting half of it, but bless your hearts if you have the room. <laughs> and that's really it on that one. So for the sale of company, I will put the description in below for the masks. <clears throat> All right, people. Take care. Happy Friday. Be safe, be well, wear your masks. God bless. Have a great day. If anything else comes up, I'll pop back on. If not, I'll see you in a few days. Take care. Love to all. Bye-bye.